to God. Hallelujah. Oh, just get up on your feet and begin to praise the Lord. Begin to lift him up. Begin to adore him. He alone is worthy to be worshipped. He alone is worthy to be praised. We honor your God. We worship your holy name. King of kings and the Lord of lords. Thank you, Father, for your presence. Thank you, Father, for your power. Thank you for the anointing, of God. May you continue to brood over us, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, let's give it up for the Lord one more time. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Oh, may you change your name and say, neighbor. Oh, this is a church. Hallelujah. This is what I'm talking about. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I believe there is no other church on the planet like our church. Are you with me? So look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, if you miss today, you miss something important. Hallelujah. Wow, wow, wow. God, who has begun a good work in us, will surely bring it to an expected end. Amen. God bless you. So many uh, ministers. God bless you. Hallelujah. I mean, we are in for a good time this year. Amen. Amen. And just to let you know that everything we are doing from today going is, I mean, uh, being recorded. Amen. It's going to be on tape. Hallelujah. So even if you miss church, you still can just buy the copy and just, you know, guff yourself in the presence of God. Amen. Thank God to our dear brother, minister. I mean, he is a great minister of worship. Hallelujah. So no doubt we are hearing that voice. Hallelujah. Anointed voice from on high. Uh, thank God. Thank God for what he's doing. Um, and I believe that if you miss a Sunday, you are missing something important. Hallelujah. If you miss Friday, you are missing something important. Hallelujah. So, I mean, just get yourself together. Amen. Let us bow our heads. Father, we come before you. At this critical time, Father, to hear a word from you, Lord. May we never be disappointed. For sin generation, oh Lord, you have never disappointed anyone. We thank you that indeed you are a covenant keeping God. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. 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 This morning we are so blessed to be in the house. And by the grace of God, we began a series with a book or the Gospel of Matthew last week. And I believe many of you have fallen in love with Jesus one more time again. Amen. How many of you have fallen in love once again? Hallelujah. Awesome, awesome. And that goes to the, the song that uh, Brother Neil also kind of led us uh, powerfully uh, during that session. It's so great that we fall in love with Jesus Christ. Glory, glory to the Lord. One of the things I like to request from the uh, worshipers and the song uh, leaders, please, if there's going to be anything, let us know so that we can project that and all of us singing together. Amen. It's awesome. I believe we are in that time and season where we are taking all this world by storm, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. So I love that. I love that. When you come here, prepare to worship the Lord. Prepare to jump. Prepare to dance. Prepare to what? Clap, hallelujah. God bless you all for leading us this far. So please turn your Bibles to the, Bible, uh, the, the, the first few chapters of the Gospel, Matthew. We are on chapter 2, hallelujah. The Gospel of Matthew, chapter 2. And I do believe that you have your Bibles and your pens with you. And in fact, to make it easier for you, we have printed the outline in the bulletin. Hallelujah. If you are glad, say amen. And say, unti me in kase me bab, me bas wame in sunya she. E pe se u sunya bibi. Na se mi tuwa, you refer to what you have studied. Hallelujah. So we, we're going to study this chapter. 
And I implore you to really do your homework. Before you come, read the whole chapter because we can deal all with all the chapters within 15 minutes. Amen. Praise God. I look at the time and say, oh my goodness, is it one o'clock already? <laughs> Praise God. We've got 20 minutes uh, to do it. So uh, we can digest everything. So please read it. And when we come, we will just select some few verses to lift them up. Amen. So the title for today's message, uh, we know that we are doing the broader you know, uh, a theme, the covenant keeping God. But under that, we have what I have titled is Jesus a crown or a cross? Hallelujah. May you say that to your neighbor. Is Jesus a crown or a cross? Get the bank and some man. Yes, you. Why, why, in show? And I say, why, a Cynthia and a man. Hallelujah. In other words, yes, you a year a a year will be beer. What if a fair fair when you are in church a fair when you are not set or yet pain for you? Hallelujah! Uh, you all said it, amen. That is the word, right? So we will know that as we unfold the scriptures this morning. Is Jesus a crown or a cross? This is deep title. And I hope you'll bear with me within this short time as we expose the scripture. Now, Matthew, the one, the author, writing to us, you know, a typical Jews, a uh, Jewish, you know, person, formerly a task collector, an IRS person, right? He, he, he's good. I mean, you know, those who are task collectors, I mean, IRS, I mean, they are good in what? Mathematics. So, uh, among all the gospels, uh, Matthew is the only detailed person when it comes to the account. Of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. Those who are mathematicians will bear with me. I mean, they are detailed people. They don't just, you know, deal with things on the surface level. They go deeper. And normally, they tend to be what? Scientists, right? I mean, I bought the movie for. I mean, zero, 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 computers are. Zero, 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 Are you with me? I mean, they are detailed. So, I love, I love Matthew so much. He never left any stone on ten. He says it as he witnessed it. Hallelujah. And if something is coming from somebody who has walked with Jesus Christ, who has been with him, we must believe his word. Amen. So Matthew, beginning, actually lifts up. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King who, Herod, Magi from the east, came to Jerusalem. Now, so right from the beginning, Matthew actually presents to us two contrasting what? Characters. The first one is the what? The Magi. So in your study outline, you may write that down. Amen. Magi. And the second one is who? King Herod. When you are reading a, a, a passage, look at the very words that are being lifted up. I mean, from the beginning and also at the end. You know, that will give you the whole story. Now, Magi from the east, and according to, you know, uh, sources, historical sources, and with a scholarship that, you know, many who have studied so much, says that when they say from the east, it wasn't from one probably nation. I mean, from Ethiopia, right? From uh, uh, Persia, from, uh, I mean, Tunisia, you know, those, you know, cities or nations around the east, they were not from the same city. There were people who were learned, right? No, idea. They were very highly intelligent folks. Amen. In our culture, if somebody probably went to Legon or uh, Cape Coast or um, uh, in other institutions, right? Uh, we highly what esteem them. Back here in America, if you go to Yale, Princeton, um, Harvard, Oxford. Right in England and all these, you know, institutions, they think you are what? You are what? Genius, right? I mean, you you, you are highly intelligent. Hallelujah. So we, we, we honor that. And as I say this, many of you are so intelligent. Amen. All of us are intelligent one way or the other. It just depends how you see yourself to be. Hallelujah. So our children, our youth, I encourage you. 
When you study, study hard. Because God has given you the brain to study. And there's a saying that the mind is what? A terrible thing to what? Waste. Hallelujah. So there were very people who had learned astronomy. When it comes to the study of stars, right? I mean, they knew it. They knew all the stars. They knew the movement of the stars. So they studied that. They were highly esteemed and honored during that culture. That even those on the west, in the east, in, in the south, knew these people. Highly intelligent folks. So they didn't play them down. Now, if somebody goes to Harvard, or even Duke, or Princeton, right? We see how we relate to them, right? Sometimes, we don't want to even get close to them. Because even their English might be different from our English, right? Uh, maybe the way they present themselves might be quite different. And that's what college is. I share with you, I'm going college, you know. I'm college, you know. You see, Ebuo, you have respect for being into what? College. I'm going to college, you know. I'm going to college, you know. I'm going to college, you know. Right? So we live in a society like that. Now, we thank God we have a president who was educated from where? Harvard, right? A man of great intelligence. Now, picture that scene. These were little people. Great intelligence. Now, we learn the story. They came from the east in search of a child who had been born. Can you believe this? Now, look at our system, our nation. Those who are highly educated, what have they done? They say now, no Bibles in school, right? Harvard, which used to be a, a, a Christian institution, now has become the den of the devils. Amen? If you can come out from Harvard and still hold on to your scripture, you are the Christian that all of us can uphold. Amen? Now, many are trying to get, even in God we trust from where? Our currencies. Right? Now you can say, may God bless America. And if you watch carefully, when the president gave that wonderful eulogy, right? During the, the, the Tucson, you know, death, right? It was awesome. At the end, he quoted scripture, right? But he didn't quote God. Amen. May he bless America. You see where we are going? Now, because there are some people following suit. How can you declare God? Because your God is not my God. How can you declare Jesus as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? Right? So instead of using God, now He. And even the He, we have the feminists, right? Who are saying you can't use He for God. God is not He or She. God is neutral. So when I'm preaching and I say He, I'm wrong. Because God is not He. Amen. Now, we are in for a fight because of what? Book knowledge. But thanks be to God, these wise men, even though they had the book knowledge, but they never put the Bible away. Hallelujah. On yes, what's your When you throw the Bible away, you throw your life away. And then you have to click your currency. Because you are ashamed of sharing your faith in your college with your mates. These people were highly intelligent. But guess what? They studied the Hebrew Torah, right? Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, and the last one. Oh, you are intelligent. Hallelujah. You know it. They studied that. So the prophets have, have prophesied that a day will come that the Savior shall be born. So whilst they were studying the astronomy, they were also what? Studying the word. And then you move a brain close school. Are you with me? I mean, this is serious. And brothers and sisters, if you don't go to school and you don't study your Bible, you cease to be a human being on the face of the earth. Are you with me? Because if the Jehovah witness people are coming, you begin to hide because you think they know much than you. But if you have studied your word, no, no person can stand the word of God. Hallelujah. They study it so they realize, yes, as we study the stars and read the prophets, it has come true. Let's go in search of 
the Messiah, the child. And for two years, can you believe? They, run, they, they, they rode on a donkey, right? Back, right? For two years, in the terrain, in the desert, right? Hey, almost young woman quite chill. Oh, be up with degree, PhDs, about 10 times. Me, PhD, but by compass and background, I'm going ask Oh, and yeah, easy. They know it. And yet, they walk miles. They rode on donkeys, right, in search of a savior. And they will be by Soria. No, church, you know. I saw him cry, it takes you about five minutes and ten minutes. What do you cry, what do you do? Right? I know your program, ah, what do you better do? We worry. Brothers and sisters, we have something precious. Hallelujah. We have something that we need to cherish. That this world, once again, is forsaking the gospel. They are taking our God from the schools, right? From our courtrooms, and even from the grocery stores. Now, when you go to the grocery store and for the cashier to say, oh, have a blessed day, you know. Have a good day, right? And God bless you. When you return, say, oh, God bless you. They will look at you. You say, God bless you? As if say, hey, it's strange, right? That is the culture we live in. That the name of God, many people hate. Brothers and sisters, if we throw God away from our homes, from our schools, no wonder what is happening in our nation. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, we have something as Ghanaians. Let's hold on to him. Wise men sought him. Highly intelligent people sought him. And when they finally got to the place where the star was leading them, Along the way, God, who was working something out, allowed the star to disappear. Hallelujah. Even though highly intelligent, but God was in control. Hallelujah. They know the stars. But are you with me, church? God is in control. God is in control. And God was doing something for a reason. Maybe you were at the bottom, at the valley, thinking it's not going to work. God may be doing something new. Hallelujah. God maybe has allowed you in that situation for you to learn something. So they found themselves in the king's palace, right? King Herod. And if you look at the, the scripture carefully, he's not just King Herod. King Herod the Great. Are you with me? There were so many inner you know, kings. But something was wrong here. You know how he came into power? King Herod came into power by coup d'etat. And you know, he forced himself to be in power. And when you force yourself to be in power, and when you force yourself to be in power, guess what? You become a detectorship. You want to detect for everybody. So he started killing those who were challenging him. He started killing even innocent people. I mean, be, I mean, thousands of people, he killed them. So, God was doing something. He allowed the wise men to visit who? King Herod. And as you read the text, when they got there, King said, oh, I'm glad you are here, right? No. Something took place. They asked, why are you here? And guess what the wise men said? We are here in search of the king who has been born. Are you okay? Now you have a king. I'm the king. Now you're telling me you are here in search of a king? I mean, think about that. That is disturbing. So let's break it down to our level. As we, we study this. The Magi were what? Committed for who? For Christ. Church, are we committed to the things of God? How committed are you to God? Many, of, many people are committed to certain things, right? Some are committed to drunkenness. They didn't go well. They are committed to it. Some are committed to what? Fornication, idolatry, and what have you, right? Even though married, but seeking another pleasure. 
from somewhere. Some are committed to gossip, right? Hey, a dani papa ya ba kubeba mwa fa fa mfu ni yamba bi. Any anka oni yepi oba sorry ni shoe ni ni hanke ni hanki bi anasen ni duku bi oba. Hey, wama sorry. Are you with me? That person will never be satisfied until he or she says something or gossip about somebody. Some also committed to games, sports, right? I mean, now here to know here, maybe, you know, one o'clock, right? In Tibia, who is playing? European, European League, right? That's something, something, right? Playoff, I mean, talking about the Ghanaian contest. Amen. Right? I mean, there are some who are watching that. I mean, we can't, we can't wait. Right? Now something's taking place. Committed to it, no matter what. Right? I, I hope you, you get what, where I'm going with this. So, the question to you this morning is, what are you committed about? Are you committed to the things of God? And you be a, what do you pay in a show in a mere jumamu? If you are a singer, are you committed to it? Hallelujah. If you are a chorister, are you committed to it? If you are a Bible reader, are you committed to it? If you are a participant in a church, are you committed to it? Hallelujah. When you are committed to something, nothing can come in between. Hallelujah. And a great example is my own friend and hero, Paul. Paul was committed when he was in the world, right? No, 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 no. Paul no, is so committed that even among the Pharisees, you know, he was highly praised. No, 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 no. No, he's so committed to the law. No. They held him in high esteem. That Paul could say a word and all will bow. And finally, when he met all oh, the most high God on the road to Damascus, all oh, the one whom people bow before him, bow before the almighty God. Brothers and sisters, we have a living God. That the Bible says that at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. He is highly exalted. And when the wise men saw that, they left everything they had in search of him. Are we committed to the things of God? Are you committed to your wife, your spouse, your friend in faith and in truth? Be brave. And you're committed. committed. Hallelujah. The wise men were committed. And whilst they were there, they told the king this. And the king, the Bible says, was very disturbed. Are you with me? Why was he disturbed? Because another king had been born. Hallelujah. But another king, you want to cross us? Now it's not fit threatened, right? Hallelujah. Which you say? See, be doing channel now, dear. There be another young show. Are you with me? If you force yourself to be in a position, or if you take something that is not yours. You always live in what? Fear, right? Of the unknown. As if somebody is coming after you. Or let me bring it home. If you are living a righteous and a holy life. Oh, but Abraba Kunkuna Abraba Papa. So be the Kamokrana, you are not worried, Nebua. But because Abraba Fumbi and Abraba Biabono, they be out Kanwai was so. Right? You, you're trying to listen in. And I like the word to ease in, right? What, what is taking place? And those who are good at that, almost all back, almost so much in the Mokomono. Praise the Lord. Are you with me? So, who are you fooling? Amen. Are you with me? So, King Herod was troubled, disturbed. But guess what he said? Please. Now, what's Obrano? What's it? 
I, I, I'm glad you came by. Uh, go and diligently search for him. And when you find him, I would love to come and worship him too. Uh, are you with me? Uh, oh. Hallelujah. God is not stupid. Are you with me? God isn't stupid. The Bible says in Galatians 6, I believe 7, 8, God cannot be mocked. A man reap what he sows. If you sow sparingly, you read what? Sparingly. If you sow generously, you read what? Generously. Well, why are they stable? Because now what's our character yes say? Young Corrigan. Now so person worship in the bee. Amen. Let's learn something. Do we experience the same thing in our communities? Yes. There are some people who who who, who may camouflage you, right? Your very best friend. You may think he or she is your very best friend. Putting on a nice face, but as soon as you turn, the person stab you from the back. Right? What them for only the two said it. What them for only the two you what them for only fellowship on. Hey, you bar jumping will be a jump be you, right? Dancing will be a dancing in pipe in a bobby. Nancy so Ucham wanna try oko dim with one drop. Went to gossip about you, right? I sorry my boy yet chia. Amen. Hey. Are you with me? It's happening in the church. But we are in church. Hallelujah. Brothers and sisters, God cannot be fooled. God isn't stupid. Many of us show up in church, but our hearts are far away from church. Many of us keep lying to God. God, this is our tithe. This is all that we've made and we are giving to you. But you know deep in your heart, won't pay with tight. Own your offering. Own the background, own the dollar. One more money, finance for a canton, no more bread. You be musa. Are you with me? Better say, sisters, let us not fool God because God can never be fooled. Hallelujah. Remember what Aeneas and Sapphira did. They said, they promised God, God, we're going to sell our land and everything is sold. We will come back and give you the money back. And the Bible says that right in the midst of the church, they came with excitement and there the Holy Ghost spoke through Peter. And Peter said, you can never lie to God. You can lie to men, but you can never lie to the Holy Spirit. And right there, Ananias died. The wife came later, she too lied and she died. Onya. Let's be careful how we treat God. So be in a mere jumana, for whom you ask him. Hallelujah. So the bear off the bear my mere, my name for a common watiana. Don't cheat on God. Sometimes you might think that you are cheating the pastor or the finance, but it's none of us. Hallelujah. You are cheating who? God. When you are now cheating, no. Now, so cheating your mere. Read Malachi chapter 3. What's your moon? I'm moving on it. And then baby, a entrop power, a a sorry demo. A place where people lie is in the church, not in Hollywood or even in over there, Wall Street, right? But it's in the church. Are you with me, church? It's a tough message, but I believe we need to hear. So I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, please stop lying to God. Are you with me? Amen. Let us all from the pastor down to every person in the church. If you are lying, stop lying to God. Because sooner or later, everything will come out. Hallelujah. Sorry to say, when I said a pastor, we know it wasn't long ago when the great man of God, great man of God, who had great inner ministry, lied to IRS, right? And now he's spending jail. He has a nice mansion at the lake where I pastored at that church. Jacuzzi, many things. Good. Of course, he was blessed with it. But he uh, can report to you. How often he said, get the bastard. Onya. 
Bible says, Give unto Caesar what is Caesar's, and give unto God what is God's. If you be faithful to him. We sing that glory, glory, Lord. We give you glory. I don't know the words. And the last one that they ministered, I love that. Amen. Brothers and sisters, whatever we do, let us not be compelled to do it. Let us do it out of love. So ye fra kumama unyami shra. Hallelujah. And I'm talking about tithes and offering because it's something God has said. If you do this, I will bless you. Just long, long ago, I think getting to the East, uh, the Christmas, we, we, we had a tight budget. And my wife didn't know that I was doing this. Because usually we pay our tight together, you know, I put in the money. And, you know, all the bills and everything. And I realized that if I pay my my bills, I won't have anything left to pay my tithe. I have five children, including two adults, making seven. When I look at the budget, it's not balancing. So I called my mortgage company, the one actually who holds you know, everything in their hands. Right? I said, please, I need some help. Would you work with me? And they said, sure, they did. You know why I did that? Because I didn't want to miss my tithe. Hallelujah. I rather miss paying my, th- uh, paying my mortgage rather than what? Missing paying my tithe to God. Are you with me? Onya, God owns everything. Let us be faithful to God. Be committed to it. Now, so even Yamiya, America, we have about three point something billion dollars right in debt. Now, some American man now cry, oh, debtor. Now, oh, debtor, Are you with me? A dinosaur and I can me to give you seven years or thirty years as an opery. Ain't it? Who may see one and I did? Nipa, you nipa. It will be to other friend. Frequency. We will make room for you. Hallelujah. Because God is faithful. We are trusting God. God, he says, ah, you touch me in this. If I will not open the windows of heaven and pour forth my blessings on you. And he says, I, the Lord, shall supply all your needs according to who? His riches in Christ's glory. So, that is a covenant keeping God. The Magi were committed. King Herod was the stem. So this morning I submit to you, is Christ a crown or a cross? Hallelujah. In other words, is Jesus your victim? Or oh, Jesus your pain? Amen? And it's serious. So do you we be beautiful at home. Hallelujah. So as I end, Minister Solasi, do you mind blessing us with the same song? Ambassadors, come. Because I believe God is going to use that to bless you. And as we do this, you come with your offerings. Hallelujah. Because we are t- t- testing God. In this, amen. So, in God will open the windows of heaven and begin to pour forth his blessings on you if you will believe. And as you do it, do it in faith, do it in belief, don't doubt it because God is a rewarder of them that diligently what? Seek him. And as they minister, believe him in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Hallelujah. We are going to have an offering together with building fund. So when you are coming, please bring your building fund. The small boats are for the building fund. Thank you. I'm talking about Jesus, Jesus, sweet Jesus, Jesus, every day, every day, your name, your name is the oh, 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 Jesus, Jesus, my sweet Jesus, Jesus, how I love, how I love your name, your name. Oh, sweet Jesus, Jesus, my lily of the body. to Jesus Christ. The Bible says that in the dream, God revealed himself and said to them, go another route. 
Brothers and sisters, this is the message of the cross. That no matter what the devil has planned, no matter how things have gone bad in your life, God is able to bring things back to all that. God can disturb your enemies. And I believe it's time for you to disturb your enemies. So as we pray, believe the Lord for a breakthrough in your life. As you have honored him by your substance, believe that God is opening another door. God is tell, telling you to go on another route and be obedient to him. If you don't go back, don't go back to it. The wise men obeyed and they took another route. Today, are you willing to take that route? And if you are, why don't you pray to say, God, I give all that I have to you. As these men worship, they bow before him. They gave to him gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Today you have honored God with the same attitude. So God is telling you, walk in my way. Walk in it and you'll be blessed. Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Every day, you do something new in our lives. We have worshipped you with our tithes and our offerings, God. May you lift them up, smell over our offerings, God. Let it be an incense to your nostrils, Lord. And as you smell each one of our offerings and our tithes, Father, may you honor according to our giving in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord, through this, there shall be testimonies upon testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. The doors shall be opened. The healing shall be realized. The victory shall be for your children, Lord. We thank you and we bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Amen. If you want to give a hand of applause to the Lord, do so. Amen. 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 At this time, we want to welcome those who are worshiping with us, maybe for the first time, or it's been a long time since you did worship and you are here. We're excited to have you. So please let us know you by name. And if you do relate to anybody here, we would like to know that as well. Amen. But just a 